Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza here at the Hatfield Public Library with uh, a box of teen books. That's exciting. The very first one is um, a, a four young adults version of the very popular uh, book Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. And this is Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teaching of Plants. We have a graphic novel called Demon in the Woods. This is part of the Grishaverse, which is Lee Barduga's uh, world, and it's by Lee Barduga and um, also known as the Shadow and Bone World. Uh, what's the other author? Danny Pentergast. We have a book with a wonderful title. I don't think this is the first book with this title, but that's fine. It's good enough to reuse. It's called Reader, I Murdered Him by Betsy Cornwell. <laughs> and it's also got a wonderful cover. This is a reference to um, Jane Eyre, if you don't, just in case. Um, so uh, so this is about a girl who says she grew up in the shadows. She's sent to boarding school in London. She enters real society. And but there are shadows there too. Hmm. So she pairs up with a, another woman and becomes a vigilante for justice. Five Survive by Holly Jackson, who wrote A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Um, so this one, uh, so this is about kids in a RV. Um there's someone who wants them dead. It says buried secrets come to life. So eight hours, six friends, five survive. We have Never Ever Getting Back Together by Sophie Gonzalez. Another really great title. I feel like a lot of people have been at that point in a relationship and you know, Sometimes, sometimes, who knows what's going to happen. So, uh, the, da, da, da. it's been two years since Mario's ex-boyfriend cheated on her and she still can't escape him. Her sister married the crown prince of a minor European country. Fun. Happens all the time. Um, it's, oh, of, what? What? Uh, okay, I'm a little confused now. Okay, so... So I think it's the crown prince is the ex's brother. And um, I thought some point, oh, there is, yes, there's a reality TV dating show. And so they all go on this reality TV dating show and they're supposed to be competing for the ex's confession, affections, but I think she must be there to, um, uh, she wants to get revenge. That's like that was like a hard plot to summarize. It seems like a lot going on, but like I'm sure it's just like a delicious like whoosh. I'm sure it's fun. Um we have The Luminaries by Susan Denard who wrote um I want to say she wrote a book called Truth Witch. I feel like I've done that a couple of times in the past where I'm like, this author wrote this book and then I've been wrong. Um but it does say she wrote something called the Witchlands series. So I could be right. Um so it says, Hemlock Falls is a town that you won't find on the map, your phone won't work, and the forest outside the town might kill you. So there's an ancient order that protects the town called the Luminaries, and they fight monsters. Last of all, it's sort of on a different note, we have The Summer of Bitter and Sweet by Jen Ferguson. This was uh, a request from my children's librarian, and... Um, this is about a well, girl who broke up with her first boyfriend um, because she did not feel any spark. Uh, she, but he also, they have to work together at her family's ice cream shack all summer. And then she gets a letter from her biological father. Oh, this sounds really good. It got really good reviews. So I'm glad we have that now also in our collection. Um, just a little box but enough to get some new stuff on the shelf just in time for the holiday. Bye.